Hey, how's it going in today? I wanted to do an update on the score manager because I did a video a while back and some of the things I said in there aren't correct. And so I wanted to correct those for the record. And then I just wanted to also show how this can work with a multiple choice test using the pop-up device. So if I go into Fortnite, oops, I got to join my session. This just takes a minute. So there is still some, what I consider to be quirks with the score manager, but you absolutely can use it to create a multiple choice test and give feedback as well. So, but the way it's set up, it's, it's definitely quirky to say the least. There's some things that weren't quite making sense. And I think that led to some confusion on my part when I did the first video on the score manager. Okay. So let's start the game and I'll show you what I got here. So basically there's a trigger device and a score manager in here. When I hit these, we can't see the pop-up devices, but when I hit the trigger, the pop-up device will come up. And notice my score up here is a zero, right? So what is two plus two is four. My score goes up by 10, right? Where is Los Angeles? It's in California, 20. And look, I got a message, you smart on the HUD. So let me show you how I did this in the game so in the scene we have two pop-up devices and a trigger and i'll just walk you through the setup this is essentially a passive device just to be a trigger we don't have to put anything in it now what it triggers is the first pop-up device and i just did a tutorial about this so here we can put in the question of the title we can also put a longer question under the description and this can just say question number one in the title and a longer question can go in here then we just do six buttons put down the answers here and and then we show it when the trigger is triggered right and then on the second pop-up device it is triggered when you press any button on the first device this is good because the person only gets one shot at pressing a button and then it's the same thing you can put a question in the title or in the description instead of saying where is los angeles it could say question two and then in the under description you can put the question and here's the answers right so the only thing to be mindful of is that on pop-up device the correct answer is button four and on device two, the correct answer is number one. So now we'll go into the score manager. And there's a, a lot of options on here, and it's kind of confusing. One of my problems was this thing. When you hover over the description, it says what it is, right? It says awards this many points when triggered, right? If we put 10 in here, that's what's going to display up here. So it's kind of misleading because it makes it look like the person has 10 points when they don't have 10 points. I don't see any setting to turn that value off. So this score value thing, even though it says that's how it awards points, I have issues with that because it, it comes in with the points already showing on the screen. So like if I put, if I put 10 on here, see how it shows 10? So if I, if I don't know if I could push that change, I, mean, I gotta push that change. So let me push that change just to show you. While that change is pushing, let me keep going. Some of these are very, these are very straightforward. How many times can the, the device be triggered? Five times. And now this is where it gets interesting. So where it says score change when activated, notice it says adjust the score by this much each time it is activated. If, if increment score on awarding is on, increment score on awarding, yeah. So, so if we check this, this means that every time it gets incremented, it's gonna go up by 10. So the advantage of using this method, then down here, we don't use activate, instead we use increment. So under increment, we go pop up device, button four. Then if the person presses that button, our score goes up by 10 points. So then on the second device, if they press button one, the score goes up by another 10 points. And then the last thing is that's interesting on here. So let's go start game. I'll show you the issue. See if I put the score value in, see how it's already set to 10? That's the issue that we have. So it does increment, but that's an issue, right? So what you can do to get around that is just turn that to zero. This is what was messing me up. So we don't, and then we put the score award type to add. Activating anybody can activate it. If I was gonna have five questions in here, the max number of times it could be activated would be five five times. Increment score and awarding, yes. So this is the same as this, except we're just doing it down here where we're gonna add 10 points every time. What's cool about this is that we can say send event on scoring. When you get the, the top score or whatever score you want the player to get to, 
then down here it allows us to unscore output the score output can then be sent to a hud device or something so if you want the person to get to 20 points then when they get to 20 points here then send an event so basically this is your send event on on scoring really should be your winning score is really what it should say instead of saying send event on scoring it should say winning score and so the winning score is like 20 and then on that we can then trigger a HUD device to print a message on the screen. And that's what this is over here. So if I click on the HUD device, it says on score output of 20, the winning score, then display a message on our HUD device. So it's just a little, it's just a little quirky because of this score value, because I thought the score value was basically the display value, initial display value. And that's pretty much what it is but it also can be the value by which the score is incremented too. So if we turn this to zero, then our initial display value is at zero. And instead of using this option to increment our score, we use this, this option down here, the increment score on a warning. And then we call it, when they come over here to the pop-up device, you know, the correct answer button, we do increment instead of activate. If we activate this to 10, the problem with using the score value, it's gonna show an initial of 10 and we don't want that. So I just don't even use the score value. But if we did set it to 10, we could activate, I can show you this real fast. So, okay, so let's just set this to 10, right? And we'll put activate and we'll go to the pop-up device here and we'll set this to, the correct answer is four, right? Okay, and then we're going to go activate here. And on number pop up device two, the correct answer is one. So then we'll save this and push those changes. So we'll push those changes. So what's going to happen now? The score will be 10 points here, and it's going to have 10 points here. So the when I get the first answer correct, it's going to go up by 20. And then when I do the second one, I'm in, this is going to give 10 points, and this is going to give 10 points. But the problem is the display value is going to be show 10 at the beginning, which is, I don't want that. I just did a tutorial about the multiple choice test, and I said, you know, this is one example of how you can use verse, but I want to say that it's a, like a very specialized function you would use verse for, like some really kind of more intricate game logic or something, because it, using your imagination within existing devices, there's almost nothing you can't create. You just have to figure out how to wire it all together. So, so I guess you can build up anything. Okay, so we're ready to go. See how there it shows 10 right, right off the bat? And I don't want that. But now watch. We trigger it. What's two plus two? Well, if I get once I give the correct answer, it's going to go up by twenty because we're sending an activate and we're sending an increment, which is ten and ten. See, it's thirty. Whereas Los Angeles, California, see it went up by fifty, and it says plus thirty correct, which. I'm not even sure where they're getting plus 30 from. So the bottom line is the easiest thing to do is just avoid that score value. And so honestly, I think this device needs to be reworked where this is just like initial display value. So now if we just put zero here and then we get rid of these and we just use increment, not activate, I'll push those changes and, and then it works correctly. Let's see what happens here. And then you can, you can also set this to display the message here. You said display score update on HUD. You can do that too, or turn it off. So I'm going to go to, this is set to increment, not activate zero. That's correct. I'll go to the trigger device. What is two plus two, four. I got my 10 points. Where's Los Angeles, California? I got my 20 points and my message. You smart. And the message, I don't know if I clarified that, is with a HUD device. So over here in the HUD device, we just set it, the score manager on the score output. But we can select a specific score output as the winning score, basically. So in my view, this needs to be changed where this doesn't say score value, but it just says initial display value and then this really should say winning score 
and then down here it should say winning score two so that you know that that's our score output which is going to the hud device i hope you found this helpful i just wanted to do this as an update to the last video i just did